Hello everybody, this is Fat Bomb Girls, and today I'm here with X Daman117. Hello everybody! Yes, we are in Borderlands 2 today to give you guys some news and information and our thoughts on the new Borderlands 2 DLC. Well, That's also coming with a level cap, but it's not gonna be DLC number 4, according to some article in blah 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 fucking newspaper. I don't know, I don't remember the name of it. I'll put it in the description if you guys wanna read it. And, uh, it's about the developers of Borderlands 2 pretty much confirming about they're actually working on a level cap and confirming new characters in Borderlands 2. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's not gonna be the fourth DLC, it's gonna come out after the season passes up. Oh my god. Um, so, that's kinda of disappointing, but we may have some thoughts on what the fourth DLC is gonna be. Um, they haven't really done a Moxie DLC yet. They had the campaign in Carnage, but that wasn't directly Moxie. So yeah, I, it also mentioned in, well, if you beat Campaign of Carnage, that Moxie still wanted her Underdome back, and she pretty much took over uh, the Torque uh, fighting ring or whatever costume. Which would be like the Underdome from Borderlands 1 if you guys played that. Mm -hmm. But she also already has like her own arena, the animal arena that you got for pre-ordering, or I think you can get it now for eight. And the bandit and the uh, Hyperion, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's in like the uh, the nature sanctuary or something. Yeah, the reserve. That's what it was or something. And she pretty much controls that now, and you can get a Moxie rocket launcher. So I think they're gonna come out with a different Moxie DLC. Or maybe even a Marcus DLC because he does take a pretty big role in this game as like the gun god for the bandits. I mean, I'm pretty sure every character has a significant role, but it'd be cool to see Marcus have his own DLC or have some kind of thing. I mean, Marcus being a gun god and all, uh, that'd be cool if they added in some really nice weapons. Some maybe hint, hint, wink, wink, new legendaries. Yeah. Please. Along with the new Invincibles that, of course, they're going to add no matter what. Yeah. Um, Raid balls. Woo! Yay! Uh, do you have anything else to add, Dan? Uh, well, yeah, rumors about uh, the DL uh, DLC not uh, having, like, a level cap, whatever, or developers of Borderlands not having the ability to increase the level cap, like, making it break the game, uh, that's complete and utter bullshit. Ah, uh, yes. There was articles going around saying um, level cap would break the hardware of the game, so they, they could never do it, but it's a lie. Randy Pitchford uh, has been tweeting and stuff about it and everything, and not only that, we almost forgot, they're adding a sixth character. Uh-huh. Um, uh, we don't know what the hell it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be a sixth, char uh, uh, sixth character. Uh-huh. I know um, a while back, Randy Pitchford had people tweeting him ideas for characters, and one that he really liked, I think he actually retweeted it, was um, an archaeologist that could summon like a velociraptor. That would be cool. Randy Pitchford, if you're watching this, I doubt it. <laughs> I, and also, if you go on the Borderlands forums and you go to, I don't, I don't know what fucking session it is, um, Somewhere, if we're like creating your own ideas or whatever, there are people on there who are pretty damn creative with what they come up with. Like they come up with the whole, they draw the character themselves and even come up with the skill tree, each skill tree name, and it's freaking amazing. Yeah, I was amazed by are, what they come up with. People are making their own like um, uh, sketches and everything of the characters, and people are really creative. Gearbox, you should be hiring some of these people. Mm-hmm. Really? Because they're starving artists. Yes. That's what we want. We want awesome new characters that are overpowered as fuck. Just so we can destroy everything. I think that'd be <laughs> fun. Just have, like, the Destroyer as a new character. Yeah, just, like, the Destroyer. Or, like, the Raper of Worlds. Oh, my God. You know what would be really cool? Claptrap's quest or mission, whatever, where it's, like... Uh, you have to do ridiculous tasks like get some so and so rocks, defeat the badass gag, get the head of the destroyer of worlds, and like get the staff. Of the, you know what that? Oh means, yes, I to to unlo that. like to unlock Please his uh, storage. Because awesome. I screw like the thirteen thousand rocks, get like ten. 
<laughs> Maybe not 13,000, but, um, you remember in Borderlands 1, they had you collecting, uh, zombie things in the zombie DLC. Zombie you had to collect a lot of zombie brains for that. Um, so maybe yeah, something yeah. like that? I don't know. Um, but a Claptrap you know, DLC. I hope they put in a zombie DLC for this. That'd be cool. Zombie but DLC? Have... That would be awesome, but I feel like that's more, like, Halloween appropriate, so. Yeah. Later down the maybe road. DLC um, season 2. Yeah. Claptrap DLC, on the other hand, that would be freaking awesome. Yeah, but they already had that in they had one in Borderlands 1, um, where he was kind of like... Evil. Evil! Evil. And you destroyed him. Spoilers. You probably beat the yeah, game already if you're playing Borderlands 2. I'm pretty sure they already know what happened. Well, you know. Unless but, they're completely out of date and do not play recently. Games, I don't know. Well, if you haven't played it, I suggest going back and play Borderlands 1, because it was a very awesome game. And the DLCs were all fun. Um... But that would be interesting, a Claptrap DLC, with having the Claptrap enemies come back and everything. Those, those were funny. It was a short DLC, though, than Borderlands 1, so... Maybe they could extend on it some more or something like that. Anything else to add, Dan? Uh, I don't know. I've been hearing about people wanting to go to the Hyperion station that floats above Pandora. Uh, that'd be cool to see. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're done here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let us know what you guys think um, for future DLCs. Uh, what What do you think the fourth DLC will be? Since they're not releasing the level cap um, for uh, season pass people, so they're going to be coming out with another season pass, as far as we know, uh, for more DLC, which is awesome. More DLC means more fun for Borderlands Two, and. That's pretty much it. Just let us know what you guys think in the comments and uh, what you guys think on our thoughts. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace!